The opinions expressed in the video you are about to see are solely those of Boatest.com and its test captain. Hi, Captain Steve for Boatest.com, and today I'm on Glacier Bay Zion Runner 2770, and we're going to put it through a full test and performance evaluation. The Glacier Bay 2770 is a catamaran with a very comfortable ride that handles waves quite well. She has a length overall of 27 feet, a beam of 8 feet 9 inches, and she draws only 20 inches of water. Fuel capacity is 180 gallons, or 681.4 liters, and she holds 20 gallons, or 75.7 liters of water. I find the helm seat to be very comfortable. There's a flip-down armrest, which I'm very happy to see. There's a flip-up bolster, and when I'm standing, I've got a much more comfortable view, but the most comfortable for me, I find, is sitting on top of the bolster with my feet on the footrest. Now I've got great visibility, and I feel nice and high in the saddle. Of course, there's a bar going across the top of the bolster, and I'd like to see a little more padding on top of that if you're going to sit that way, but to me, that still is the most comfortable position. The helm features a standard layout with Yamaha's multifunction gauges to the left and the engine controls to the right. The panel has room for a 12 or 14 inch display with room to spare. Now as far as visibility looking through the windshield, I thought I was going to have a bit of an issue with the heavy frames going up to the standard hardtop, but that's not the case. I don't even notice them. The window mullions are nice and narrow, so you've got great visibility all around. On both sides, you've got side decks to get to the bow, overhead rails attached to the fiberglass hardtop, 10 inches of space between the rail and the cabin sides, and as you come forward, you can use the hardtop support for additional handholds. There's a bench seat with grab handles to either side all the way at the bow. And we have an optional windlass with access hatches to both sides and foot control switches with a molded in pulpit. The rails are 18 inches off the deck. With an empty weight of 6,900 pounds, 39% fuel on board and two people, we had a test weight of 7,670 pounds. Our test 2770 was powered by a pair of Yamaha 154 strokes that brought us to a top speed of 35.5 knots at 5,900 RPM. At that speed, we were burning 32.4 gallons per hour for a range of 178 nautical miles. Best cruise came in at 3,500 RPM and 18.6 knots. That gave us a fuel burn of only 10.6 gallons per hour for a range of 286 nautical miles. The most surprising feature was her acceleration. We reached planing speed in 4.1 seconds, 20 miles per hour came and went in 5 seconds, 30 in 7.3 seconds, and we accelerated through 40 miles per hour in 19.8 seconds. On acceleration, the 2770 remained surprisingly flat. I measured a bow rise that was nearly 5 degrees and it stayed there on through cruise speeds, so not only will you not lose sight of the horizon, you'll keep that good visibility throughout the performance envelope. And with one engine taken out of gear, we've got a minimum trolling speed of 2.3 miles an hour. And as you look off the stern, there's no turbulence whatsoever. Now there are two ways to think about trimming the 2770. First, once you get up on plane and at cruise speed, you start bringing the collective trim up, and that'll give you a little bit more speed, not a heck of a lot, but a little bit more. Second is one you want to correct for a list. If you've got one hull high, then that's the engine you want to bring up. High hull, high engine. That'll bring the hull back down again and level you out for an uneven distribution of weight, things like that. You can see this effect much more clearly here. As we looked aft, the port engine, or the one on your right, will come down. As it does, you can see how that hull comes up a bit, and to be clear, I'm making it do that just to illustrate this point. Now when I bring the engine trim back up, we level out. That's how you address a list for an uneven distribution of weight or even a crosswind. Turns are another factor where you're going to find a difference between a monohull and a catamaran, so the 2770 does tend to lean outboard when you make a turn. Um, and that can be a little bit disconcerting at first, but after running the boat for about 15 minutes and doing some turns, I got used to it very quickly. So with that said, the 2770 is probably not going to be the best water sports boat, but as far as a destination platform, it's ideal. Set it on its course, it'll get you there very comfortably, very solidly. Head out to the canyons, head to a destination for the weekend, this is your boat. Well that's our full test and performance evaluation of Glacier Bay's Isle Runner 2770. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.